Hey, this is Nick Granville. I'm here to talk to you about this brand new series from Ibanez. This is the Ibanez AZ series. So this one here I'm looking at is a humbucker two single coil version. And then I got this other bad boy over here with two humbuckers, which I'll talk about as well. Uh, the first thing and the most important thing to me is always the neck shape. So I thought I'd start there. Um, looking at the neck, it's quite a big neck. Um, roasted maple, which is just beautiful. It doesn't have that sticky feel. It feels like a guitar that's being played. Um, but it's quite a substantial neck, it's, but it's comfortable, it's not, it's not a hard feel, it's a soft feel. Um, and it's an oil finish rather than the plasticky kind of uh, finish that you get on some guitars where they they just get sticky after a while with certain people's hands, so I think that'll appeal to a lot of players. The neck joint is kind of interesting, you have this bit here where it's kind of cut away. Uh, no neck plate, so they've really designed this for complete comfort and access to the higher points of the guitar. Um, the frets are stainless steel frets and the bridge is titanium which I hadn't seen. This is the Prestige model by the way and so it has tita a titanium bridge which uh, my wedding ring is titanium so that must have cost a blooming fortune to make <laughs> but I'm sure it makes a difference in the sound or why would they bother. Um, so we have that, the bridge, the frets, you've got Goto locking tuners which are great. I don't know why they don't just put locking tuners on all guitars. Um, you know, it's got a tremolo, but even if it didn't, it just keeps the guitar in tune better. So why not include it? Jack plug's kind of in here. So you actually have quite a bit um, of it of where you can tuck it in behind a strap and you're not gonna have to use an angled plug. Small details makes a big difference. Okay, so one of my favorite things about this guitar is its versatility. Um, it does a lot of sound. So I'll just go through a few of them now. I've got a clean sound. I'm running through a Fractal AX8 straight into a Laney speaker. Here, so it's basically on a Fender twin type sound. So pretty clean. I've got a little bit of delay. Because I like that. And a little bit of reverb. The most important sound to me always is the neck position on the guitar. And in this guitar you've got a single coil. I like neck pickup. I like that big fat round sound. So this is the sort of tone you'll get. So it's warm, it's rich, but it's clear, and I really like that. One cool thing with this is you have this little switch here where you can flick between different sounds. It gives you additional sounds out of the guitar. So if I flick up, now I have those two coils together and they're in series, kind of like a humbucker a little bit. Now it doesn't really sound like a humbucker because it's two single coils, not, uh, you know, kind of next to each other, but it's a really usable sound, I think. Especially if you bring your volume down a little bit and play with your thumb. That would be a passable jazz sound on a gig. Um, I mean, of course, it's not going to replace the humbucker. You'd use a humbucker guitar for that, but it just adds another dimension. So the next setting I have is the neck pickup and the middle pickup. And you've heard that before. Turn to laugh. But here's the cool thing too. Like I'm, at the moment, I'm on those two pickups there. But if, if I flick the switch up, now I get that pickup plus the bridge pickup, and just one coil of it. So you get a Telecaster kind of a sound. So this is the down setting. Now the other one. They're quite different. So that's a really usable sound. I'd use that probably more than I'd use the other one. If I go to the middle position, I have just the middle pickup. brighter a little bit sweeter but then if you flick the switch up you have actually all three pickups on I believe very unique kind of guitar sound very usable if I go to this position I have that pickup and I have the bridge split I think now this is a sound I'd use a lot They're very sparkly
So that's a very sparkly kind of sound. And now here's a cool thing. If you flick the switch up, it, it goes to just the bridge pickup, but it's kind of like a single coil mode. As opposed to what would be in the humbucker. In the humbucker setting, on this one, when I flick the switch, it makes no difference. It's basically just the same kind of sound. Uh, it's just basically just wide open in that position, which is really freaking cool. If I'm here, for example, when I've got those two pickups on in this mode. So the Telecaster mode, as I mentioned before. If I flick down to the bridge position, is the bridge wide open? back to that so that kind of telecaster sort of sound um, and that's actually one way I like to use this quite a bit is I'll leave that in the up position so here I've got the two pickups on so you get a humbucker sort of fat sound and then that position the sort of telecaster Then down I get just the bridge, so but single coil. Bridge humbucker. For me, I think they've really knocked it out of the park with this setup. I think that's a fantastic way to set up a guitar. You've got so many sounds. I mean, it's pretty versatile having single coil, single coil humbucker as it is, let alone with all those additional switches, just via one switch. And this, without touching the volume control really, or the tone control and the other tones you could get out of that. Okay, so one thing is definitely true about this guitar. The build quality is unbelievably good. Uh, for me, a telltale sign is always in the neck pocket. And if you have a look there, it's, it's super tight. There's almost no gaps in there. Um, I mean, it's just a beautifully made neck pocket. And for me, that's where a lot of the sustain of a guitar comes from. And also without the back plate, I think it, it, that changes the sound as well. So, um, I should talk about the colour of this guitar. I, I love the colour of guitars, I think it's really important. Um, Non-musicians, your general punters or gigs, they notice that before they notice any of these other flash stuff that I've talked about. That's the thing they're going to go, they're going to go, wow, check out that colour. Um, it's pretty wild. And the flame maple top, it's a book match top with two pieces. You can see the little um, marks and things and the flame, which are just, the streaks are just beautiful. It really is stunning. And a nice little feature that you don't see on many guitars, but they have these little luminescent dots on the side so that they'll actually glow um, in the dark so you can you can see your guitar. I often do theatre shows and the like, and when you do those sort of gigs, often they'll they'll bring the band down to complete darkness. You can't see the neck at all, but with that at least I can see where I'm going to have to play. Um, we've all done this before. Where you're fret out on a chord and you get this horrendous sound like that instead of... What more do you want? Okay, so this is the other model that I have here to show you today. Again, it's a prestige model, uh, very similar to the last one, so I won't go through all the specs. But again, you got Seymour Duncan pickups. This time we've got humbuckers. Um, one of the big differences is you have 24 frets now. Some people, that's, they really like that, some people not so much. For me, I prefer 22 frets because it moves that pickup this way a little more. Some people really like it, they like being able to get that high note out nice and clean each to their own I reckon. Pretty cool with no pick guard. That to me I think is a, a really nice feature. Uh, similar kind of back, neck, everything, Lumo dots, all everything else is kind of similar, similar kind of finish. So if you prefer two humbuckers. Um, that might be your thing, that's the neck pickup. This is the neck, uh, the neck's setting down. So that, that 
it has a pretty cool sound, and then of course the bridge pickup. Um, I pretty much only ever play bridge pickup with drive, so this is kind of the drive sound. <laughs> a certain tone and flavor difference but other than that everything else is kind of very very similar okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a couple of different sounds I'm going to just set up a little loop with this uh, and I'm going to go through all the different possibilities of sounds out of the various pickups so that's neat pickup just with an octave and I'm going to set up a loop Um, I really dig it. I'm probably going to pick up one of these for myself. Um, so you'll see me out at gigs and in recordings and in videos using probably something like this. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>